Hello everybody, welcome to Astro.js. Today we are going to see what is call, apply, and bind in JavaScript. Call, apply, bind is an approach to call a function in JavaScript. Okay. <clears throat> so we'll see the actual example so you can have a better understanding. So uh, let me uh, create an object quickly. So I'll paste this object. So this is a simple object which has uh, A and B as a properties, A as 10 value and B as 20, okay. So I'm gonna create a simple function called add. Uh, this is the function, okay. What this function does, it uh, consoles the current context which is this and it adds this dot A and this dot B plus the parameters passed in the as argument C plus D, okay. This is what this function does. So this function we are going to call using call, apply and uh, bind methods. So I don't want to take your most of your time, I'll do it quickly. So let me uh, try a call function first, what it does. Okay. This is the call function. As I told earlier, call, apply, bind is a JavaScript approach to call a functions in the different manner. Okay. So to call an add function, I can do it directly like this, okay? Why, you, why I need a call function? So call is a method for every function. So whenever you create a function object, you will uh, get a call method by default, okay? Call is a method. You can call a function with the specific object as a context. Okay, by default, everybody knows that this will always point the window object. So let's say I want to call a function. I want to set a specific object as a context to the function. So I can do it using a call method. So what I'm trying to do is add dot call. Okay, I'm passing the variable called val, which is here, an20, and I'm passing the parameter one comma one. Okay. So what I'm trying to do it here. So I wanted to call this function add using the context val. Okay. I'm going to run this function. We'll see what happens. Yes, the call method has been called. If you see the console.log this, which returns a colon 10 and b colon 10, which means, so I am able to set the context as val for this particular function instead of the default context so when you create a framework or you are creating a library in javascript those call and call method is really very useful to set the context while you are creating the listeners okay this is very very important concept in javascript okay then what is apply okay let me have an example for apply also Apply is exactly similar to call. The only difference is in call you are passing argument as a values one by one. But in apply you can pass it as a array. Okay. So here I wanted to send one comma one using call. So I am sending one comma one. Here I wanted to send two comma two. So in apply you can pass it as array. So this is the only difference. The rest everything is same. I'm running again. See, call and apply both does the same thing. So both I'm able to set the current object. But call, I'm sending one comma one. So uh, ten plus twenty plus one plus one is thirty two. In apply, I'm sending two comma two as an array. So here also same ten plus twenty plus two plus two is thirty four. Okay, that's it. Then what is bind? So bind is a little bit uh, tricky. I mean tricky in the sense it's simple, but it has a different uh, approach. Okay. So what I'm doing here? So I'm doing the same. Okay. So what I'm doing? I'm doing add dot bind. I'm setting the context. Even here also you are setting the context, but in bind you are con <coughs> calling the function later. Uh, let's say for call and apply what happens you are calling the function immediately 
so when you say add dot call it calls the function immediately when you say add dot apply it calls the function immediately when it comes to bind so you can create a variable of bind and you can call it later so you are setting the context and keep it inside some variable and you are calling the function later that is the only difference so these two will call immediately and bind will call later i mean you can call later whenever you want but whenever the context is available you can set the context for the particular function and you can code it in the uh, different variable that is called closure so it will keep the temporary object inside this variable since so you can call this function whenever you need so here i'm calling 3 comma 3 as a parameter so this val is already binded as a context to this add bind variable or oh, let me run this Okay, uh, it has all the output. I will run again. Okay, so one comma one thirty two, two comma two thirty four. In bind, I am sending three comma three, which is thirty six. That's it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, please comment below. Thanks a lot. Bye.